Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kahalayim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachaha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the Akim teaching by the Mayan Wild Moth, that's the sincerity and truth. It's the brother Yachazak from GMS Dallas. And uh, I just wanted to get into the whole armor uh, of the Lord the things necessary to be able to complete this battle this spiritual war you know uh, it's a lot of it's, it's, it's a lot of things going on spiritually and we need to be spiritually in tune from the apostles and elders on down you know what i'm saying because we believe that through the spirit and power yahweh bashem yahweh shai the apostles and elders and bishops of great millstone uh are our teachers you know they are our, uh, they are our spiritual, they are spiritual fathers, spiritual uncles. You know what I'm saying? And you always have, you always have somebody that can tell you when you're wrong, and accept things. You see? Jake want a pat on the back. Jake want this. Jake want that. When at the end of the day, Yahweh I got to get his glory fully. You know, he's the only one that resisted on the blood. He's the only one that was, um, uh, um, uh, 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 he's the only one that fulfilled his course so far. You know, and we come in his stead. And with the Lord being a man of war, you have to be equipped to go in the battle. You know, so I just wanted to get into uh, Ephesians, uh, Ephesians 6. All right. This is uh, Ephesians 1, uh, 6 and 1. It says, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Our parents in the Lord. Or the apostles and elders and the bishops, you see, they've they, they've raised us spiritually with these scriptures from the time we came in uh, up until now. Me personally, from what 07 to now, you know, I came in that crop behind Elder Yashawamba and Elder Ariala. You know what I'm saying? I was a couple years behind them. You know, and those, those hey, those are my spiritual brothers. You see. And we've all been able to, through the spirit, stick with the doctrine. You know, we obey our parents in the Lord. When they tell us to get off of uh, 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 certain social media sites, you know, when they tell us to not go back and forth with uh, people who don't want to listen, you know, we, we, we learn plenty of things through the spirit. You know, it says, honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment uh, with promise. All right. It says that it may be well with thee. And thou mayest live long on the earth. You see? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is teaching us life. You see? And part of being alive and part of being living is to have the spirit on you to be obedient. You see? But to also be able to judge situations ourselves. Just like a baby. It was a, eventually the baby goes from milk to meat. You see? Eventually the baby grows up to the point to where he can make decisions for himself. You know, and without that growth, without that growth, your fruit is not going to remain, man. It just is what it is, right? It says, and ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture, uh, uh, in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. You see, the heavenly father says, spare the rod, uh, spare the rod, you spoil the child. Our apostles and elders never gave us the the, the 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 green light to just do whatever we want no they taught us the way that they were taught and we teach the way that we were taught you know it's not a hard it's, it's not a hard it's easier it's easier to have an understanding of the word and follow it to the best of your ability than try to use the word to manipulate situations that make you look good or to make you feel better servants be obedient to them, uh, service, be obedient to them that are masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling in singleness of your heart unto Hamashiach. Now, let's get that word for masters. All right. You ain't, you ain't calling no man my master. You, you ain't my master, nigga. What you, what, what you my master now? That's, that sounds like you want some slaves. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Strong's G, 2962, Kurias, Kurias. All right, 
let's see, we got uh, uh, Master is a title of honor expressive of respect and reverence with which servants greet their master. You see? When you jump, when, when, when we say double, uh, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, we give in reverence. You see? When we say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, you know, we give in reverence. We give in reverence to the men that the Lord set up. Okay? Matter of fact, let's get, uh, let me see, Jeremiah 3. Yeah, Jeremiah 3 and 15. All right, this is Jeremiah 3 and 15. It says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Right? Who's, who, who, who are the men that fed us with knowledge and understanding through the spirit? Our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. You see? And we stick into the scriptures. You know? Somebody, oh, so he, all these guys, all these guys that don't want to, uh, uh, follow the scriptures They want to follow their own belly They want to follow their emotions You know They have men that want to follow That want to follow them It is what it is So whoever teaches you In sincerity and truth Or whoever teaches you in whatever You give reference to the person That teaches you these things It's just that simple You know Telling the apostles, uh, 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 tell, tell, telling the apostle that they owe you an apology and all this old type of stuff, like, bro, what are you talking about? You know. But you got to be equipped with the whole armor, man. Either you, uh, 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 believe in the scriptures or you don't. I just read in the definition of masters, is it, it says your masters in the flesh. I mean, if, if, if the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone all of a sudden start telling us it's okay to eat pork chops, then that's something different. But as long as they break it down the scriptures correctly, you know, going through the prophecies, doing the videos to exhort us to do more. Yeah, you can't tell you can't tell somebody to do 100 videos just because you're doing 100 videos. You can't tell somebody that they ain't on fire. Uh, 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 but you are, you know, just stick with the scriptures, man. Everybody got a teacher. Even with the other Israelite groups, they reverence, they teachers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Jake always want to do what they want to do and say what they want to say. And, and, and everything is justified no matter how wrong or, 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 or messed up it is. Here it is. You got a track record of offended brothers. You got a you got a long list of offended people. But since you go out on the highways and the byways uh, 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 every day, then that makes it cool. No, first of all, if you got an alt with your brother, which all these people you talking trash about, that means you have an alt. If you haven't made that all right, all that preaching is in vain. You see, but our job is to follow the scriptures and put on that whole armor. So that we can withstand in the evil day. That's the whole point. Right? It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that he may be able uh, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You see, let's get that word for wiles real quick. Strong's G, 3180, Methodiah, Methodiah. Right, cunning, arts, deceit, craft, trickery. You see, all those things are going to be coming at us. All those things are going to be coming at y'all. Y'all on the comment board, you know? It's all a part of the walk. You got to be able to get through those stumbling blocks, man. You see? The whole armor. You guys out there in the war, that's what I'm saying. You out there in the war with throwback jerseys on, you got on shorts, you know, they got to have that fitted cap. But that's what I'm saying. That's not the whole arm of the Lord. You see? It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, 
against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right? Let's get this word for principalities. See, it ain't about flesh and blood. Flesh and blood could be fooled. Flesh and blood is, 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 is exactly what it is. It's flesh and blood. But the spirit, you see, angels and demons. See, we fighting demons in the spiritual realm. You see, to be able to make it through what's happening down here on the, uh, uh, on the earth. Our job, I'll say our job is to do the will of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. It's not about us. I said we've been talked about, we've been ridiculed, we've been lied on, and we count it joy because we doing we we believe we're doing the right thing in the spirit. You see? If you don't feel like that, then that's your problem. But yeah, you can say whatever you want to say about me. I don't feel the need to justify justify myself to anybody but Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and the men that he sent to deal with me. From the apostles and elders and the bishops on down. You see? I've had videos made about me. I don't give a damn about that. <laughs> so what? But at the end of the day, the wiles of the devil, somebody tugging at your daily life. Somebody tugging at you. You know what I'm saying? Somebody so-called poking you and priding you and trying their best to get at you, to get you to fall away. That's Hey, that's a battle. The Lord said when you come to uh, serve him, prepare your soul for temptation. My ego means nothing. You see? And that what it wasn't always like that. I had to grow to that point. You see? But it's all about the whole armor of the Lord. Not nothing else. All right? It says, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to with, uh, withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand see we we in the evil day and it haven't even got ugly yet you know you still got comforts in babylon that's gonna be taken away it's only a matter of time and that's gonna be a part that's gonna uh make a whole bunch of dudes fall away lord willing we endure to the end that's why the scriptures say he that endure to the end the same shall be saved he that endure to the end not he that endure till he get offended. We talk about it all the time. You know? Then you got guys that don't know a damn thing about what's going on. They want to jump up and defend people. That's what I'm saying. Defend you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? How about that? I think you one of the 12, dog. I might have rolled with you back in the past, cuz. Bro, what about you? How about Shem Yahweh Shai, though? You see? The scriptures talk about marking men that cause division, and it also talks about marking men that's perfect in the scriptures. That's perfect in the eyes of the Lord. And hey, that's up to you whether you believe that or not. But it talks about men that's doing the right thing, and it talks about men that's not doing the right thing. And the ones that are doing the right thing have put on the whole armor. You see? Call me what you want. Lord willing, at the end of the day, you'll call me a man of the Lord. Goodness gracious, man. Verse 15. Uh, verse 14. It says, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shy with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. You see? And that's our job. We want to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Because that's a, a strong indicator that we're going to make it to the end. Either you put on the whole armor or you die. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of the most high. You see. We can't use the scriptures to manipulate people. You know. And those who do. Are going to be dealt with accordingly man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Some priests for envy and strife. All these precepts come to mind. 
You know? And I'm on my lunch break, so I can't get all of them. But at the end of the day, man, it's all it's, it's all about putting on the whole armor of your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai so you can fulfill his will, not yours. Here it is. You got all these reports. You got all these reports coming out on Yahweh Call, former head of uh, 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 the Bay Camp. You got all these accusations. You see? Well, not even accusations. He actually did all that stuff. You got all this information coming out. He clearly don't have on the armor of the Most High because it's all about him. You see? And then you got guys, you got guys following you and want to defend you and they don't know what's going on. But hey, hey, after all this, if you still hit your wagon to that brother, instead of worrying about what your how about shim, your how was got, then hey, fuck you too, man. Fuck you too. Yeah, I said it. To hell with y'all, man. <laughs> Either get with it or get lost, man. Like I said, you want to rebuke elders, you want to talk shit, you know. But hey, fine. Do what you got to do, man. It's still time to repent, though. Put on the whole armor of the both high, man. You see? It says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching, therefore, uh, and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. That's what I'm saying. Perve perseverance. Supplication. You know what I'm saying? Begging the Lord to give you the spirit to make it through this thing. You see? Ain't nothing wrong with praying for understanding when you don't completely get something. You know? Instead of praying for understanding, you're going to double down on somebody else's wickedness? That ain't fully, you ain't fully armored. You out there butt naked. And for me, that utter, uh, and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Right? For I am an ambassador in bonds. Right? An ambassador in bonds. You see? We representative of Yahweh Shah. We prisoners of Yahweh Shah, just like Paul said. And when you're a prisoner, you do what you told. You see? And that extends down to men that the Lord put the spirit on. So, yes, we in bondage to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. We in bondage to the men that he set up who we believe to be the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You see? They telling us how to do this thing. You see? We're not zombies. We about the only group. We about the only group that the the the, the heads of the council tell you. Look, do your own research. See what conclusion you come to. Don't just take it from me. That church of Berea spirit. Let me search this thing and make sure these things are so. And when you come to the conclusion, when you come to the conclusion after your own research, you see that everything matches up in the spirit. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. You see, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. That's what I'm saying. We ought to speak boldly with the confidence that we have in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, because the prophecies have not failed. Everything the Lord told us to look for, we see in it. Everything the Lord told us was, was going to happen has happened. You see, so all of a sudden now the prophecy is not going to be, they're not going to come to pass. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord ain't finna put his will on hold because some nigga got mad. Give a fuck about you being mad. All the offenses you done racked up. All the shit you done talked. You see? So since you ain't put on the whole armor, none of us have. Nah, man, nah. We ain't hitching, we ain't hitching our wagon to that. You know what I'm saying? The Lord told us he's going to destroy them niggas, man. The Lord say, if you don't want to, the Lord say, uh, 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 bring him hither and slay him before me if he don't want to get down. What you mean? Yeah, man, I'm about to run out of time, man. I got a few more minutes, but yeah, man, let me see. Let me see. Boldness of Peter and John. Let me get that real quick. All right. Acts 4 and 13, it says, and they, 
uh, and when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned men, unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. You see, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you could think that the apostles and elders and bishops are, 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 are unlearned men. But it's gonna come a point in time that when you gonna you gonna you gonna see through the spirit, man, that they was dealing with that the Lord was dealing with them. You see, the spirit of the Lord is in the earth, man. It's not about us; it's about the Lord. Period. It's about the Lord. That's what I'm saying. Jake ain't gonna move out the way. The Lord gonna move your ass out the fucking way. It is what it is, man. You see, the Lord ain't finna beg you to deliver you, man. You know, we got to learn how to get out our own way, man. <laughs> if you can't learn how to get out your own way, the Lord will remove you. You know what I'm saying? And we done seen that plenty of times. Some just go off into the sunset. Some double down on the wickedness and try to make it about them. And it ain't gonna work. So, hey, with that. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the Akim teaching about the mind while mop. That's the sincerity and truth. Hey man, fear the Lord, man. Fear the Lord.